The last thing that students are expected to do um, is to encounter a word in the wild. And I took a survey at the beginning of the year and found out what careers were interesting students. Um, I got lawyers, police, and crime scene technicians. So I thought, okay, let me try and combine them all and use the word um, analyze uh, in one form or another. and. Uh, circle all the details that go along with the word analyze in this. And this is actually from the Catholic University Law Review Journal. So this is a post-grad level text. So I need students to, to really be on it for this last part. Um, and I understand they might not get all the details, but they should look for uh, a few, like a minimum of like five. Um, it'll usually be a pretty dense text. So let's see. Let's start by just finding the word analyze or any version of it. There's one. Okay, so maybe we can look in this first um, sentence for some clues that might go with the word analyzing, which again means to explore. The circuit split evidences the two different approaches courts have taken when analyzing an attempt under the Bank Robbery Act. While evidences, right, you've heard of exploratory committees that, that might look at evidence, so it makes sense to me. Um, when analyzed, taken when analyzing an attempt under the Bank Robbery Act. The Fifth and Seventh Courts narrowly read the first paragraph, while the majority circuits take a much broader approach that focuses on legislative intent. A focus is a type of exploration, right? Focusing on a particular thing means that you intend to explore it a little bit more. Um, it is something that you'll do intentionally, right? Um, you don't accidentally analyze. Specifically, the majority circuits analyze, oh, there it is, the overarching purpose of attempt crimes when criminalizing attempted use of force and violence or intimidation. For example, well, in an example, and digging deep on an example, it makes sense that we're analyzing here. So for example, in Jackson, the Second, Cir Second Circuit rejected the minority approach as wooden logic. This notion that you're taking apart something and interrogating its logic makes perfect sense as this would go with the word analyzing. Observing that they argue their activities did not transcend a hypothetical fixed point on a spectrum of conduct culminating in the substantive offense of the bank robbery. Um, if you're dealing in hypotheticals, you're certainly in an analytical mode. Instead, the majority circuits examine, oh, to analyze, to explore, to examine, right? There's a little synonym right there. Huzzah. Attempted bank robberies under the two-tiered Stallworth analysis. Oh, that focuses on the purpose of attempt crimes in general. Oop, there's that word focuses again. For example, oh, more evidence, more examples, the kind of things that um, people who are analyzing uh, pay attention to. In reaching its holding in Stallworth, the Second Circuit emphasized uh, attempt is a subtle concept uh, that requires a rationally, a rational and logically sound definition. There's that exploring things with logic and rationality, which lawyers often do or attempt to do, one that enables society to punish malefactors who have unequivocally set out upon a criminal course without requiring law enforcement officers to delay until innocent bystanders are imperiled. Further, the majority circuits also emphasize that by failing to convict defendants for attempted force and violence or intimidation as part of an attempted bank robbery, inconsistencies in the purpose of rationale for 100C, uh, example McFadden 739 uh, 2D and 150, defendant arrested while walking toward the bank, Stallworth 543, uh, second 1040, defendants arrested as they step out of the car when they parked near the robbery, see United States versus Thornton 539, United States versus Bellevue. All right, so what are students getting out of this? Well, future lawyers, will not be surprised that they're going to be encountering dense texts uh, for their entire career. This is um, oftentimes, I'm not trying to scare students from becoming lawyers. Uh, on the contrary, I want to spark their interest and give them say, if you know what the word analyzing means, even though this is somewhat inscrutable even to an eighth grade English teacher, um, you can infer that these are precedents um, and that's an examination or analysis of precedents. Um, and this is just one paragraph. So students will know what they're getting in for. They'll know that communication uh, is important, but also thinking logically. So it looks like math class is gonna support this sort of thinking as well. Um, and and um, 
who could ask for anything better? What a great idea this is. So let's get through all those precedents, explaining that the second court's analysis, oh, there it is, did not examine, oh, there's another one, the language of the statute at all. Language is often something that will be examined closely, will be explored. We explore language every day in my class, but rather appeared to read force and violence or by intimidation right out of it into further legitimate and laudable goal, legitimate and laudable goals of crime prevention and protecting the public. Um, and then we have more precedent. When finished, move on to the word search. Uh, not a particularly, uh, 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 not as rigorous as, as this practice is, but um, a word search is kind of a way to relax the brain after um, all the brain sweat that is exerted, uh, finding this word ana analysis analyzed in the wild. All right, so this is what a completed version would look like. Of course, these will be filled in with words from up here, right? We did our links, we did our perfect sentences. We encountered the word in the wild, our future lawyers, which there are many. Um, at least in 2019, 2020. So thank you for your attention and have a great rest of your school year.